The overall goal of this procedure is to determine the partitioning of highly siderophile elements between metal and silicate melts. This is accomplished by first preparing a synthetic silicate melt and metal starting material. Highly siderophile elements are introduced as gold-coated beads or sintered mixtures of platinum, iridium, and iron by either physically separating HSCs from the silicate melt or introducing a strong reducing agent, the formation of metal inclusions that complicate chemical analysis can be avoided. The second step is to load a graphite sample capsule, first with the metal and then the silicate starting materials, so they are in a gravitationally stable arrangement. Next, complete assembly of the sample components and load into either a piston cylinder or a multi-anvil apparatus as appropriate. The final step is to pressure the sample and then heat to the desired temperature. After enough time has passed to achieve equilibrium, the sample is quenched by cutting power to the resistance heater. Ultimately, laser ablation inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry is used to measure the trace element concentrations in the silicate melt. The main advantage of this technique over high pressure methods that do not suppress metal inclusions is that it avoids ambiguity in analyses of certain siderophile elements in the silicate melt. A basaltic composition is used as the silicate starting material since more depolymerized compositions are difficult to quench to a glass. Weigh the desired amounts of component oxide or carbonate powders and add to an agate mortar. An iron-free mixture weighing approximately 4 grams should provide sufficient starting material for an extensive sweep.